Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Evening guys, how you all doing? We are back. Tonight we're fishing at Shoreham. We're fishing down in West Sussex. Obviously that's where Shoreham is. So we're gonna have a go. Hopefully catch some rays, cod, congers, bass, sole, bream, I don't know, anything. We're gonna have a good night, aren't we? Uh, hey. Hopefully, sir, I hope so. And we're gonna go meet uh, the lovely kayak dangler, the fellow dangler down the beach, and uh, have a go. So it'd be nice to meet him. It'd be nice to have a little fish in somewhere different, and uh, hopefully the fish bite. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Right guys, first rig is ready to go out. And what have we got on the menu this evening? As we're going for a cod this evening, cod and sole, the first rig is gonna be a two hook clip down rig with uh, pieces of black lug tipped with a strip of squid, which is just nicked off, off the top. So we've got two of those. And we're gonna sling that out probably about 80 yards and hopefully see if we can pick up a sole or a cod this evening. I'll set up the other rod in a minute and I'll show you what we're going to be doing on that. But uh, we're going to be putting squid and sandal on there and I'll show you how I bait up squid and sandal. So stay tuned, I'll show you that in a sec. Right guys, let's see how this works. I'm going to show you how I'm doing my squid and sandal wrap. grabbing my medium sand eel and I'm pulling up the gills and I'm cutting the head off to expose all the uh, bloodiness. Get rid of that, cut the tail off, get rid of that. And we've got a Sam squid, lovely size, taking out the head and the sand eel across it. The head at the bottom of the squid, like so, and we're just going to wrap it. If we can find the end. Come on. We're going to wrap it like so. Try and keep the sand hill and squid the same length. Nice streamlined bait. Doesn't really matter if it goes a little bit over. Don't need wrapping too much. I'm going to grab your first hook. Today I'm using a 3 0, I believe, or 4 0, uh, I think and go through three quarters of the way down the, the sand hill, back out just before the head. Lay that hook nice and proud and grab your bait elastic and go round the eye of the hook and then up the shank a few times and just around where the circle piece of the hook is. Snap that off. Grabbing your second hook, which I've got a 2-0. Twist it around a couple of times and make sure the hook is the opposite way to the sand hill, uh, to the other hook. So you've got a bait just like this. Turn my light on so you can see a little bit better. We've got some nice proud hooks and a nice juicy bait. Let's see what we can catch. Here you go guys, this is a second rig. It's just a uh, standard pulley pedal. And I've got double sand eel on there. No, I haven't. I've got a, squid, a strip of squid and a single sand eel. As you can see, I've cut off the head to make the gills exposed. You can see it better there. So the gills are exposed and all the guts are flowing out. 
I've cut off the tail as well to stop it spinning in the tide. So we're going to go get this chucked out as far as we can and hopefully get a ray. Stay tuned. Both rods are out, we're fishing now. So fingers crossed some bites will come in a minute. I just had to bring the first rod in because it was uh, stuck in the surf and it's building up with a load of seaweed. So I uh, brought that in. It was only weed on the line so it wasn't too bad. So now I've kept my rods high and hopefully uh, we'll keep out of the seaweed. But um, fingers crossed, we can get either a ray or a cod tonight. That's my main target, so we'll see. Happy days. I haven't said this before guys, but if, if uh, anyone's interested in merchandise, I can do pretty much anything, you know? I can give you a hoodie like this, or a t-shirt, maybe some tracksuit bottoms, socks, boxers, knickers, whatever you're into. But, uh, but yeah, if you want some merchandise, message me on the uh, South Coast Angler Facebook page and uh, we can get that sorted. But it's high quality uh, hoodies. I've had this one for about three years now, no, about two years now, maybe three. And uh, it's still lovely and warm, nice and soft on the inside. And yeah, have a look in the back. So you've got a big logo on the back, small logo on the front and your name if you want it. So if you're interested, contact me on Facebook, guys. Right, let's get to the fishing. You won't Adam and Eve it. First cast, target species acquired. Look at that. The tiniest little small eye ray. Isn't he beautiful? Hey, eh? I'll hold him out like that. He's huge. Yeah, look at that. Look at his eyes. Beautiful little small eye ray. I don't think I've ever caught one of these. So yeah, happy days. I'm pretty sure it's a small eye ray anyway. But yeah, happy days guys. Let's get her back and let's get another one. Let's go. Eyes on well chuff of that. I know there's only a mi micro, uh, micro ray, but target species on the first cast and the ray rod. What's the rest of the night gonna bring? Hopefully I haven't put the blinkers on it and caught a small ray and then that's gonna be it. Normally when there's one around, there's a few around. But we shall see. I'm just about to change the bait on the, uh, the flapper rig so I've had no, no, uh, no indications of bites on there. So the baits must have gone, must have been stripped by either crabs or small baits. So we'll get that changed and get refreshed. Guys, I don't believe it. Right, I'm going to show you this just to prove it's not the same fish. Just brought in the flapper. Look, another tiny little small eye ray. It's not the same one, but it's about exactly the same size. But we'll get him unhooked. Look, on the squid and blacks. But yeah, two little small eye rays. Would you believe it? One after another. Right, I'll get him unhooked. We'll get him back. Guys, I think these rays are winding me up. I'm not even being, I'm, I'm not even joking. This is not even a joke. I just cast out my sand eel and squid wrap again. Same bite, ray bite. And look what I pulled in. Another little small eye ray. I am not having this. These rays are playing games with me. Do you reckon it could be the same one? Guys. Seriously. It's exactly the same size as the other two I've just brought in. I don't know what to say. Am I cheating? Have I put a cheat code on my rods? <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna get this fish back. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Yeah, mate, my life. There we go. There you go. go. Matt's caught a, a little baby ray as well, but his is an undulate ray. You can tell by the lines on it. Yeah. Happy days. We're into all the miniatures. That's we need it's granny and nanny. Granny and nanny? Granny and nanny. Granny and dan, dan dad. <laughs> <laughs> granny and dan dad. There you go. Ooh. Have a little fish. Tiny little smooth amp up. Happy days. Fish is a fish. Let's get another bite on the left hand rod. So one pull down then. So hopefully it won't be camera shy and it will keep biting. Hopefully we can get one of these on camera. There we go. Get a the bite then. Gonna go in a minute. We need to give. Oh, whoa! Oh, on the right hand rod, then. Is he on there? Wow! 
That was a good bite, man. Right, well, guys, I'm going to check that right hand rod and see what's on there. Don't know if I missed it or not. So guys, I've just made up two mini black lug and squid wraps. I've done one longer one and one shorter one, just to test it, see what happens. See if it's better wrapped up rather than just uh, slung on the hook. I'll check that other rod in a second because we had some bites on there and we'll see what's happening. Guys, like I always say, set those drags. Here we go, Matt's just caught his first ever small dive ray. <laughs> Happy days. There's a load of um, small ones around tonight. I think we've had, what, three, Ooh. four, five. We've had six, six small rays so far between us. Hopefully their mummies and daddies come out soon. Lovely job, everybody. Enjoy, like the video, and sub. Nice. So guys, we're uh, soon approaching high tide. We're about maybe 15 minutes away from high tide. So uh, now is going to be the key time for the big rays. I've always done well for the rays at high tide. I mean, I haven't caught a load, but that's when I've normally caught them. Um, I've still been getting a few taps, but I haven't really had any fish. So I'm going to bring both these rods in in a minute and get the baits changed fresh and get them out of there for high tide. And hopefully that is the key time. Fingers crossed, we get a cod on one rod and a nice double figure around the other. But there is a bit of tide out there now, which is good. The rod that's cast out further is bouncing away in the tide, so I must have found like a little um, gully where the tide is, so that's good to know. But, uh, we'll get these baits changed and hopefully get a nice fresh bait out there for a nice ray at high tide. Right guys, I've got a fish on, I believe. Well, it's definitely not what I thought it was. Look at that. Tiny little speed ramp up. That was, hello friends. He's got a little small eye ray. There Happy we go. Happy days. There's loads of little small creatures around here. Creatures. Happy days. <laughs> got a fish on, guys, I think. This feels a bit better. Could be a slightly bigger ray. I might not be a bit bigger. Still on there? Oh yeah. 
Here it comes. <laughs> there we go guys I caught the undulate ray I came for happy days look at that he's flapping his wings saying hello but beautiful little undulate ray tickle 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 happy days let's get her back hopefully we can get the bigger one well guys it's been a good session so far eh oh I'll get a bite hang on it's been a good session so far. We're just hoping for something bigger to come along. I just had a bite on my flapper rig. It was just one bite. I was watching it, waiting for it to go. It's gonna go. But yeah, we're having a great time. We're probably gonna be fishing for about another hour or so. Um, Cause I've got work tomorrow, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'll be staying out until all my bait's gone. But uh, we're gonna keep plugging away. We'll keep an eye on this rock, it's going to go. Got a camera on the rod now, so watch the left hand rod. It's been tapping away. Probably will stop tapping away now. The wind started to get up a bit, we've got a bit of rain. But it's all good, it's all good. We've got our tent up, nice and dry and warm. Seems like he's gone camera shy. That's always the way though, guys. Turn the camera on, bite stop. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and hopefully bag him. Here we go, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Kayak dangler, go like and subscribe. He's just caught a nice little undulate ray. Happy I've days. Had two, though. You've had four, man, come uh, on. That's all right, fish is a fish, but oh, we're no. beating you on home turf. Ha! That bright, man. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, people. Kayak Dangler UK, go subscribe. There we go, Matthew, what are you doing up there? 40 foot conga. <laughs> Matt's got a, a new species for the evening. Lovely. I can't really see it because it's about 40 foot up in the air. <laughs> there it is, I zoomed in. Happy days. <laughs> Little conga wonga. So, Matt's just had a new species. Come back to my rods and I've just had a new species. Lovely little black bream. Happy days. We're probably not far away from having our last cast, so it's nice to see another species to the end of the night. Happy days. Thanks all for watching. I've been striking into them every time and they just get hooked. There you go. Dang, was into a fish, my friends. Oh, I'm going to bite as well. See you later. Okay, I'm recording. Little Angela, hope you can get that. Kayak Dangler's last fish. I'm not going to do any more tonight. I'm going to call it. So. Awesome. Hey! Got another little one, Jimmy. Nice. Happy days. Look at that. Hold him like that. Hold him out. Sweet! Beautiful. There we go, guys. Lovely little ray. Let's give him a little tickle, 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 tickle. Absolute beautiful. Absolute perfection of a ray, eh? Minus the stones, but they're very slimy. Another little undulate. So that's five for me today. But yeah, happy days. Let's get her back. Sweet.
Right guys, we're on the way home. We uh, had a cracking session tonight, didn't we, Matthew? That was blooming cracking, that was, lads. It was cracking. How many raids do you have? Uh, four, sir. Matt had four raids. I think he had two small-eyed and two undulates. And I believe I had three small-eyes and two so undulates. <laughs> so I had five rays, a bream and a little smooth out pup. And Matt had a little wheel as well. So it was a good little session. Unfortunately, it's a shame the uh, rays weren't a little bit bigger. But we'll be back to try for the bigger ones, hopefully. So thanks all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you all soon. Soon. soon.